Freddie, congratulations, well played. Uh, what were your emotions in that moment where you reached three figures for the first time at Trent Bridge? Yeah, obviously such an incredible moment. Um, so pleased to have my mum here watching as well. Um, I was pretty nervous going into the 90s. Um, but Jacko helped just um, settling my nerves and just keeping me calm and just treating it like every other ball. You were out there for, for quite a long time ahead of that. You were out there pretty early in the innings and I suppose a bit of scoreboard pressure on as well. What was your approach to your knock? Yeah, just obviously at the start with Haas just having to rebuild, just trying to create partnerships and that's all we try and do. Just create partnerships throughout, um, try not to lose wickets and clusters. Faced plenty of deliveries out there and uh, and we look at some of the new players in the team for this week. Fahan's been very involved with bowling a lot of balls as well. How have you found taking that responsibility, I guess? Yeah, obviously, um, you've got to do it. Um, batting three is obviously such an important position um, and I was just trying to do well for the team um, and just create something where we can stand um, and just create some runs. You mentioned that you had some family here today to, uh, to see you get over the line. Um, your teammates, I'm sure, gave you a rapturous reception as well. What was yeah. the reaction like when you walked back in with your 150? Yeah, obviously very pleased. Um, they're all very happy for me. Um, but yeah, very happy. Have you managed to catch up with your family yet? Uh, no, not yet. I'm going home tonight, um, so I'll catch up then. Yeah. And how have you found settling into that Trent Bridge dressing room in the last few weeks and months as a first team player? Yeah, they've been so welcoming um, throughout the winter and everything in my first year. I uh, couldn't ask for any more. There is obviously a, a small age gap between you and Fahan, but you'll have, you'll have played together as you were coming through the ranks. He's got another wicket in the evening session tonight. What have you made of his adaptation to the game? Yeah, he's obviously incredible. Such an incredible talent. Um, uh, only 16 years old. I've played with him probably three years, three, four years, and you can just see his development, uh, and I'm sure he'll take many more. And um, your year so far has been a pretty special one in, in all three formats, making debut appearances for Knots and, and England recognition as well. Have you been able to take a step back and, and think about that yet? No, not yet. Everything's come very fast, um, a lot quicker than I thought it was going to come at the start of the year and what I set out to do. Didn't expect to make three debuts um, and then play England 19s, but year I'll remember forever. And I guess to be able to do it, at your home ground as well and make a century on your home turf today. Yeah, yeah it's obviously a dream. Um, been coming here my whole life watching watching cricket and everything and then to finally do it, um, very proud. And let's touch on the game briefly as well as a whole. One day left, uh, how, how are you seeing it and what's the approach in the dressing room going into day four? Yeah, we're obviously still out there to try and win it. Um, we've double spin at the start of this evening, um, just trying to create as many wickets as possible and to put ourselves in a good position for the afternoon session tomorrow.